Hello YouTube. In this video, we are going to see how iPad OS 15 works on an iPad mini 4, which was launched in 2015. That was like six years ago. So with the diamond cut chamfered edges made by Jonathan Ive. So it brings back a lot of memories, right? So this iPad is almost six years old and it still gets the latest iPad OS 15 and it still has the A8 chip which was in the iPhone 6 but the iPhone 6 doesn't get the update that's because the iPad mini 4 and the iPad 5th generation it had 2 gigs of RAM compared to the 1 gig in the iPhone 6 so that's the reason and to install this beta profile the developer one so you can refer to my previous video so it's the same with the iOS 15 and the iPad OS 15 so you just have to get the beta profile in and just do a software update and you'll be good to go so this is the main update that we got this time so last time Apple introduced the widgets so on, it was limited to just the uh, left side of the screen so now we can place widgets anywhere on the screen so just like your iOS 14 so here uh, we can see the list of widgets so they have grown in size and uh, but the uh, saddest part is like if I select some widget and I guess I don't have any photos over here so it's looking blank but still the memory allocation or uh, there might be some uh, bottleneck here so as you can see um, it's, uh, it's struck there or yeah so we can move it anywhere on the screen so it's that simple so you can just move it to the next page so this is the uh, standard feature this time on the iPad OS 15 and let me explore yeah just like the iOS 15 you have the app library over here so at the end so you have the entire app library so you can remove all the applications uh, on the home screen and just keep the app library so in that way it looks like a Mac at least it looks like a Mac but still we cannot run the Mac OS applications even though uh, the iPad Pro has a M1 chip so that's a bummer so most of people they were expecting some kind of pro apps for the iPad to take advantage of the M1 chip but still sad to see and even the A8 enabled iPad gets the update the same thing with the M1 chip so there is a huge difference between these two so the messaging app as you can see with just like the iOS 15 it's got its uh, updates but uh, there are few uh, limitations so you might see it in the FaceTime and yeah uh, so as you can notice uh, the difference here so the clock loads up once the page is up so uh, there are uh, I guess like the iOS 15 on my iPhone 6s was snappier compared to this iPad mini 4 maybe it's because of the A8 chip which is uh, which has a lower clock speed but still the RAM is same so this is the multitasking view now so earlier we had to do some uh, weird gestures to get the multitasking view so right now we have something similar to the Mac OS so we need to click on the three dots and it will uh, move to the uh, split view or it can move to the side so if you, uh, this is how you put it into split view so you can use two app at once so right now I'm having my music and my safari at the same place so right now I guess like that was FaceTime and if you minimize it goes to the left side and still you can use both the applications and you can make it even full screen so that's how you do and I guess there is some weird issue with the address bar so I guess that's with the beta version and like before you can pinch to get access to all the open tabs and uh, let me see the shelf so I was pretty much impressed with the shelf so it not only works in Safari but also other applications other Apple applications so this is the uh, like I can switch to another window so this is the shelf view so which is pretty much useful if you're into multitasking 
and so if i open safari i can see all my uh, open window with it in a shelf view so that is pretty great and i'm glad that it works with uh, even with the a device so let me see even it works with the uh, reminder app or let me okay maybe so for now let's go to some other application um yeah what shall we go so yeah and still we don't have any uh, calculator or dedicated weather application so right now i'm into youtube so even youtube it supports uh, split view so let me go into split view so if there is no in open application the split view it goes into the minimized thing so as you can see here right now i'm having safari and youtube side by side so i can watch a youtube video and i can browse the internet over here so it is pretty smooth so not bad for a old device and this is how you do a slide over application so you have a main application over here running and you have a sub application so that's also great so if you are into multitasking and if you have a bigger screen you can use the full real estate of the display so right now with the mini 4 it, it kind of, it kind of feels a little bit smaller and you have the face time so now just like if you are used to zoom or teams or webex so you can share the link and i guess yeah the safari it has some issues so i need to click i need to take the link over here and then try it uh, let me copy it once again i guess i didn't copy that yeah okay so even facetime app is pretty slow so let me wait for the link and here i get to copy the link and so right now this is the only way i can use safari so i need to paste it over here and then i need to click so i get something it's loading up i'm not sure what's that okay so they are saying some uh, gesture controls so right now i'm into facetime so this one we can use it in a, a web browser on your computer on your windows or a mac or even an android device so here also we get to see the same options so you only have an option to share screen but somehow that's also not enabled and you don't get any spatial audio or any other audio enhancements that's only available for the newer generation of chips so right now i have my call running and i can just open another application so let me open the tv app and so i can do a split view so yeah the TV app is open and it's minimized. So now, right now, I open Safari. So I have two apps running side by side, and it takes its own sweet time to load. So with the uh, two gigs of RAM and uh, slower clock speed. So yeah. So finally, we have both the applications up and running, and I can play some video over here and I can be in call, but I don't have an option to share my screen or share the content that I'm viewing. So with the previous devices, so that option is not enabled as you can see here, I don't have that option. So let me close this. I am not getting an option to close. Or maybe, I guess we need to end the call first. Yeah, so there we go and the privacy icons as you can see there so it's using my camera my microphone it shows that and as you know like there is no uh, weather widget so if you see the widget uh, sorry the weather widget on the ios 15 so that's a great um, thing that's a good redesign but here we don't have that so it just opens in a web browser the weather.com and also there is no calculator so i mean uh, we can download a calculator from the app store but there is no apple made application for a calculator so as you can see here i just have uh, one which is downloaded from app store so that's again a bummer i guess we may be getting in the next ios update or ipad os update and so next something uh, that i found was uh, we can increase the text size for each application or the home screen right from the control center so that's a 
a good update. So if you want to increase the size of a particular application that you are using on the fly, so you can do that right from your control center. So you don't have to go into settings and uh, deal with that. And it is app specific and it remembers that. So next time when you open the app, it just opens the text size that you have selected. So that's a good thing. And let me bring that back to normal. The next application that got a redesign is the maps. So let me see where I have the maps. So right here at India, at least like we use Google Maps more and we are not used to Apple Maps just because uh, the uh, local places are not completely covered with this. So right now I have it at uh, full magnification. So let me bring that back to normal. And so as you can see here, it's back to the normal font size. So this is the map application. So it's been greatly improved and with the places where they support the new features, the I guess we have it over here. Yeah, so this is the current location and yeah, so this uh, explore or driving transit. So the places where they support these features, so that's a great thing, but here right now we don't have that. And many places like we cannot find a route with the Apple Maps. So that's with the maps and now let me go into again let me go into safari like i forgot one more thing there so we have uh, something called uh, notes uh, slide over notes so if you're uh, looking into some website and you, you need to make some notes related to that particular site so you can do that so right now the ipad mini 4 it doesn't support an apple pencil so only way to write a notes it's with your keyboard but again, that's pretty much useful. So to take notes and it will be associated with that particular web page. So that's great. And let's see the camera. So I guess, so this is the magnifier. Again, like we had it on the iOS 15 also. So I'm not sure like if with the iPhone 6s or the AC first generation or even with the iPad mini 4, I don't have the, um, text recognition with the camera so that's a bummer again so that's a great feature and uh, there have been like uh, people saying that's working really cool and i need to test that with my iphone 11 pro but one thing i appreciate apple for doing is like even with the device that is six years old it gets the latest software update. So it's also secure with the latest uh, security features that are added into this. And as you can see, it's uh, clearing the cache over there. So these are the devices that supports iPadOS 15. So that's a great list. So this is how it looks in the landscape. So let's see uh, Geekbench score. So this is where it lags. So it has a A8 chip with 1.5 gigahertz processor so and uh, two gigs of ram so with this six year old processor so this is the score that you get so 333 on single core and 669 on multi-core so when compared to the iphone 6s there is still a major difference so that is 536 and 908 so that's the difference it's making with the uh, widgets or uh, like uh, the safari get, getting cut off so this might be the reason I guess the RAM management or something is not proper with the previous chip. So I'd expect Apple to optimize it even for the old device. So when they are supporting it, so that will help, you know, uh, more people to use the old devices and reduce the carbon footprint. So this is the main feature that we had the widgets on all over the home page. So that's all I had for this video. Maybe like next time we can see the macOS Monterey in my next video and thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this and work from home content and always stay safe get vaccinated peace